Hello, how to solve this radical problem? This is square root of t divided by t is equals to. We are solving for values of t that satisfy this equation. So t is over 1. We are going to make use of two different methods. The first method will be for us to cross multiply. The square root of t will multiply 1. We have square root of t and this equals t will multiply 2, we have 2t. From here, we can eliminate the square root by taking the squares of the part of this equation. So this will cancel this. Remember, if you have square root of x, this is just like writing x power 1 over 2. If you raise this to the power of 2, it simply means you raise this to the power of 2 as well. So going by the identity of a power m, raised to the power of m, this equals a power m times m. Going by this identity, this 1 over 2 multiplied 2. This will give you x power 2 over 2. And this will give you x. So this will give us t. And this equals here, this is just like writing, we have a times b raised to the power of 2. This equals a squared times b squared, if you distribute this power of 2. So right here, you are going to have 2 power 2 times t power 2, distributing this to each of the terms here. So from here, we have t equals 2 power 2 is 4 times t power 2. So from here, we have t equals this is 4 t squared. At this particular point in time, we can divide this by t. Divide this by t. t cancels t, we have 1 equals. This is t to the power of 2, and this is t to the power of 1. This will cancel one of this. We have 4 times t of 4 t. So we can rearrange this and have 4 t equals 1. We can solve for t by dividing this by 4, dividing this by 4, 4 eliminates 4. We then have t equals 1 over 4. Now, this is giving us one solution. That's how we can also solve this. If you have t equal this is 4 t squared. I can decide to move this t over here. I will have 4 times t squared minus t equals 0. So from here, we have t here, we have t here. I can factor out 1 t. This divided by t. I have 4t minus this divided by t, I have 1. And this equals 0. So from here, I have t equals 0, and I have 4 times t minus 1 equals 0. So this is solved already. For this, we simply move negative 1 over here. I have 4t equals 1. So to solve for t, I can divide this by 4, divide this by 4. So 4 eliminates 4, of t equals 1 over 4. So using this method, we have two solutions, t equals 0 and t equals 1 over 4. So that is it. Now the next thing we are going to do is to solve this question using another method. We have square root of t divided by t equals 2. Now, if you have square root of x, this is like having x power 1 over 2. So square root of t is like having x power 1 over 2. Or t power 1 over 2, I can have t power 1 over 2 divided by t equals 2. Now, this is raised to the power of 1. Because t is just like writing having t is just like having t power 1. 
we have a power n divided by a power n equals a power n minus n. So we apply this identity here. I will simply have t power 1 over 2 minus 1 equals 2. So from here, we need to find the value of 1 over 2 minus 1. This is our 1. Find the LCM that is 2. 2 divides to 1. 1 times 1, you have 1 minus 2 divides 1. 2, 2 times 1, you have 2. Because 1 minus 2, negative 1 divided by 2. So this is t power negative 1 divided by 2 equals 2. Well, then we are solving for t. We can decide to take the squares of both part of this equation. We have t power negative 1 over 2 raised to the power of 2 equals 2 power 2. So we go back to the same identity of a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. We multiply this out, we have t power, this is negative 2 divided by 2, equals 4. And this is negative 1. You have t power negative 1 equals 4. You have a power negative 1, this equals 1 over 8. So t power negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over t, and this equals 4, the over 1. We can decide to cross multiply. We have 4 times t, this is 4t equals 1 times 1, we have 1. Divide this by 4, divide this by 4, 4 cancels 4. We have t equals 1 over 4. So in the second method, we have one solution. In the first method, we had two solutions, 0 and 1 over 4. So the next step will be to check by inserting each of these values back into the equation. We have t equals 0, t equals 1 over 4. The question remains root t, divided by t equals 2. We will insert, let's start with 0, square root of 0 divided by 0 equals 2. So from here, square root of 0, 0 divided by 0 is equals 2, question mark. Now, what you should know is that 0 divided by 0 is undefined. So this cannot equal 2. So we cancel that. We consider 1 over 4. We have square root of this is 1 over 4. Divided by 1 over 4 equals 2. We still mark. This is square root of 1. Divided by this is square root of 4. divided by 1 over 4 equals 2. Square root of 1 is 1, divided by square root of 4 is 2, divided by 1 over 4, which is equals 2. Let's consider this identity. We have a divided by b divided by c divided by d equals a divided by b times d divided by c. This a, this b, this c, this is d. So applying that here, you easily have 1 divided by 2 times 4 divided by 1 equals 2. 4 times 1, 4. 2 times 1, this is 2. Is this equals 2? Yes. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and this equals 2. So both sides are equal, so that is it, guys. This is how you can solve this exponential problem. So we make use of two different methods. The first method is to cross multiply. And once you cross multiply, you are going to have this. Then you have this square root here. You can decide to eliminate the square root by taking the squares of the part of these equations. The square counts with the square we have to. You also take the squares of this. You have 2 power 2 times 2 power 2 by just putting these squares to each of these times here. From there, you are going to have this equation. 
t equals 4t squared. Now, if you want to divide each part of this equation by t, you are going to have one solution, just like what we have here, which is 1 over 4. But if you want to solve it quadratically by moving this t over here, just like what we did here, you are going to have two solutions, which you, you need to factorize. So t will be 0, and t will also be 1 over 4. So, those are the two ways of solving it. The second, that is one way of solving this. One way is by expressing root t as t power 1 over 2 and applying this index law. Since the basis are the same, you subtract the exponent. Then from there, you take the squares. In order to remove this 1 over 2 at the exponent, you take the squares. From there, you have t power negative 1 over t equals 4. Consider this index law again, a power negative 1 equals 1 over a. So from here, you solve for t, and you are going to have one solution. You can check for each of the answers, like what we did earlier on, by inserting each of these right here. Then we, when we tested using 0, we had undefined. So that didn't satisfy the equation. So we tested for 1 over 4, in which we have gotten the resolution. So that is it. Thank you, and goodbye.